Hi. I thought I'd make this video basically on the situation in Ukraine. Look, if you're a politician or a person, this is important for whoever you are. I understand that the Tory party have got pro Brexiteers, going to get out of the European Union as quick as possible, all this and all that bullshit. Yeah, cool, good for you. Um, but if you've got a son, a daughter, grandson, granddaughter, you do absolutely anything and everything to protect them, won't you? If you've got a mum or a dad, grandmum, granddad, same thing. Any family member, we do anything to protect. We're all human beings. What makes us different to Ukrainians? Just nationality. We're all still human beings. Now, why make it illegal that someone who knows and how it is to lose someone you really love by some bandit military from Russia full of rapists and paedophiles and extremists a lot of fascists hell of a lot of fascists in fact probably but yeah and yet these people go out for the sake of Ukraine to help Ukraine aid ref help refugees or to, to fight why is it wrong? It's not the same as Syria, Iraq, and Afghanistan. It's completely different. This is in your back. This is just on your doorstep, not on your back step. In your doorstep. This is so close to home. Oh. Yeah. And what do our politicians do? Well, investigate someone who wants to do the best for their country by helping Ukraine, helping Europe, doing something that NATO won't do because they literally don't have the bollocks because they're just capitalists, mad people with money and sitting in their fantasy places. Brutally true. If I am a, a citizen of a nation in Europe geographically, even if not in part of the European Union, or if I was a citizen of a country apart of NATO, and the country won't put forces that obviously not in I don't I feel obliged to help. I'm not personally not not personally definitely not person well don't have the opportunity personally but for all the people who want to I a hundred and ten percent get my support. Do I encourage it? You know, it's up to an individual's choice. Um, do I encourage it for foreign soldiers, foreign citizens outside UK and Europe? Sure. America, Canada? Sure. Australia? Sure. Chechnyans to support Ukraine? Sure. People from Vindanoi? Sure. People from... Africa to help Ukraine? Sure. People from India to help Ukraine? Sure. People from Ireland to help? Yeah, sure. People from my own country? I don't want to get in trouble for encouragement, but I just I don't understand the government's silly new policy against this. This can draw us into direct war with Russia. What about, what about the other countries? And they're not even soldiers. These are people, citizens, who are doing this. Not even military, because the military have strict order and um, plans and order. <laughs> Fuck sake, I don't care anymore. Not just. And the same with NATO. Anyone, any way to barrage Russia, 
if like oh, oh yeah that's another thing like what's the last sanctions when was the last sanctions and why was it not as strong enough and now you're just trying to catch all the guards or whatever fucking called and to be, to be honest the sanctions by now should be double if not triple the rate the sanctions the last sanctions put on Russia You've got to be a bit more constructive and thinking 